Welcome to the 13th Masters Historic Festival on the iconic circuit of Brands Hatch. Starting from one man's passion to share the golden era of motorsport with fans and drivers, each year the Masters Tour takes historic racing and iconic cars to some of the best known circuits in Europe, USA and Asia. Stirring up memories and giving drivers an opportunity to race historic cars in five grids with their families and friends watching on. This is the Masters series. We uh, race a number of historic cars um, around Europe and now we also race in America and Japan and different places. Brands Hatch is considered one of the world's most iconic venues, hosting some of motorsport's most prestigious events. Having retained its original layout since being built back in 1950, numerous motorsport legends have written history on this demanding racetrack. Looping around the woodlands of Kent, the sight of these amazing cars is bound to be a glorious spectacle. Lots of history. Used to come here when I was younger, you know, watching the Formula One cars. Unfortunately, no longer happens. Um, the circuit's great. You can very rarely get the chance to race on the Grand Prix circuit. So as soon as you get a chance to do it, you have to take it up. It's great. It's fantastic. The Masters Historic Festival is divided into six categories, each one with its own unique characteristics, but all having one thing in common. Tons of racing pedigree, an extensive motorsport heritage, and a support crew providing all the care and treatment these rare vehicles require to be kept up to speed. So we're racing here at Brands Hatch with uh, Masters Historic Racing. Um, we bought the MP41, uh, chassis number five, uh, owned by Steve Hartley, which raced successfully in 1982. Chassis five was raced originally by John Watson. Um, he won the Detroit Grand Prix in 1982 in this car. I'm the number one mechanic on Steve Soper's Lotus Elan. Getting pieces for these old cars isn't as easy as going down to the car park shop down the road and going, you know, you can buy everything off the shelf these days. But parts for these cars, they're a bit harder to come, you know, to come by. Um, they're also a little bit more fragile, so you do get worried about when they're out on track racing and they get so close to each other. There is contact inevitably sometimes, but none of, nobody wants to smash their cars up. They want to keep them looking as pristine as they do at the moment. So, you know, you do worry, but not that much. The Masters Tour is particularly unique, as all stops have the original track layouts, original cars and the original race format. It's like a journey back in time, witnessing racing as it once was. However, at some point, the past must meet the present. Masters Historic Racing has partnered with a huge name in the history of motorsports, the iconic Aston Martin, which brings younger cars from the 2000s into the mix. This gives fans from different generations something to enjoy, allowing the Masters to reach more and more followers of the sport. There are over 250 drivers in the Masters, and new motorists who want to own and race historics are always welcome to join. The drivers and owners of these cars are really the custodians, with huge privilege and a responsibility to look after these icons. Not just show them as museum pieces, but race them and keep them alive on track in their rightful place so that we can all, as fans, enjoy motorsport as it used to be. 60s, 70s and 80s style. It's quite difficult to drive the car and be aggressive and competitive and fast without also wanting to scratch it or damage it. Great place to go racing, it's very friendly very nice, so uh, that's about it. That's summing up Masters 2019.